And welcome to week eight of our uh, Delaware Live Sports Pigskin Picks here. Benny Mitchell with Trey Mitchell and uh, getting late in the season, Trey. And teams are starting to uh, secure playoff spots. We saw a little bit of that last week. Uh, going to see more of that again this week. Now some district championships are going to be on the line in this new uh, alignment system. And Trey, uh, you're not in Kansas anymore. You're in Florida, man. Yeah, man. I'm on vacation for a little bit. All right. So now we're, i got a hoodie on, but it's just precautionary. The weather's still good up here. In, uh, in <laughs> it's Dallas. 80 let's start, here. So. <laughs> let's do, do what's that? It's 80 here. So oh, okay. it's nice. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's start off with some uh, our first game. It's going to be a Friday night kickoff. Seven o'clock, it's uh, Delaware Military and St. Mark's. Uh, this game, this is for first place in double in the double A District One. Both have clinched playoff berths in class double A tournament, state tournament. So, to the winner is the district title and likely a first round bye in the state tournament. DMA is hot right now, and reports are St. Mark's is banged up a little bit. I said the Seahawks, Seahawks soar, DMA. I agree with you. I think it's going to be a really good game, but, uh, you know, reports saying St. Mark's a little banged up and DMA has been playing really, really well all season. I'm going to go DMA as well. And then in, uh, on Saturday at noon kickoff, it's the St. Elizabeth Vikings and the St. Andrews Saints we're now hearing. We've, we've been a lot of confusion this year. Now we're hearing <laughs> the Saints, um, but they got a dragon on the side of their helmet, so we don't know who they are. Searching for identity. Here's a school with three uh, – uh, Three mascots and Slazy Adam can't get one. I mean, let's, what's, what's going on here up, up north? Oh, man. <laughs> so, uh, big Class A District 1 game here. Winner takes control of the district. Uh, it's another one of those games where we find out who these teams are uh, and, and, and where they stand. But I think the Vikings have more athletes in this game. Uh, they get the road win. They improve to 7 now. I'm taking St. Elizabeth. Yeah, I like uh, I like St. E's here. Um, I, think they're, I think they've had a good season, and uh, I think they're going to find a way to get this win. Big Saturday kickoff at 2 o'clock. It's the Howard Wildcats and the uh, Wilmington Friends Quakers. I think teams wrote Howard off after that loss to Archmere, the 42-8 to loss. Um, but even in the loss to DMA last week, uh, the Wildcats showed there's still a team that can uh, show up in the state tournament. Uh, the Quakers, they've flown under the radar all season, uh, and they're at 5-1. I'm sure, I'm sure there's people out there that just don't quite believe in them yet. Uh, but it's late October. Two o'clock home game for the friends. Trey, hocus pocus, something spooky will happen in Alapocus. The Quakers get the upset. I'm going one with the friends. Yeah, man, man, we're on the same page there. I was thinking the same thing. Uh, I mean, how they've been a tough team for years. They're, they 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 win games. I mean, what the state? One of their state champs two three years ago. So yeah, they're they're established. They can win. We know friends is a well run program. Um, Friends on Saturday afternoon is just dangerous. I like friends. Saturday kickoff, 10.30 in the morning. Uh, uh, the Apoquimic Jaguars and the Hudson Silver Eagles, the hottest team in the state right now in any class is Apo. They've come from nowhere. Back-to-back -back wins over Dover and William Penn. Uh, as the Jaguars have caught fire midway through the season, they go up to Bear. They get the road win Saturday. I'm going Apoquimic. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Apo's hot right now. Apo's going to get the win. Friday night kickoff, 7 o'clock. It's an old Hang South uh, matchup with the Del Mar Wildcats and the Indian River Indians, but now they're in two different classes. So this is playing a class up for Indian River. Uh, they step up to a double-A team. Indian River's playing well, ranked number three in class A. But Del Mar is starting to put everything together. They put a passing game in with that dive and double dive. Uh, they're going to make this run down the back stretch of the season. I'm taking the Wildcats in this one. I'm going Del Mar. Yeah, I like Del Mar here. They've, they've won some big games this year. Uh, their offense has come together at the right time. I like Del Mar. Friday night kickoff, 7 o'clock in Old Millie. It's the Woodbridge Blue Raiders and the Milford Buccaneers. This is an interesting matchup uh, with a Milford offense that can be explosive. They have a good defense. Uh, they've had two weeks off there because they had the COVID week with Del Mar. Uh, then they had a game and then they had the bye week. So they've been able to heal up a lot of kids that have maybe banged up. Uh, Milford healthy now. They got everybody back. The Woodbridge defense, uh, that, is, that is making people take notice now. I think a lot of people are like they can't score. You know, they didn't really buy in the defense. But I think we saw last week that defense is for real. Uh, the Bucks are they're coming off that bye week, so they're going to be fresh. While the Blue Raiders, they've been playing big game after big game, and their schedule doesn't have a break in it. 
I think Woodbridge players believe in their defense and they get the win here. I'm going with Woodbridge. Yeah, I mean, I've been I've been harping on that defense for a couple of weeks now. Um, they, even when they don't play their greatest, that defense keeps in the game. They find a way to win win games. They won last week. Um, I mean, Milford's good. Milford can put points on the board, but you know, so could Caravel and Woodbridge's defense shut them right down. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go Woodbridge. Friday night kickoff, seven o'clock. The Dover Center is in the Smyrna Eagles. Dover has a signature win over St. George's, and now Sussex Central. Uh, a win over Smyrna would be huge in their run this season. Uh, we could see a shootout in this game as both teams can put points on the board. The centers have been tough against the run this season. But Friday night, they're going to see just a wide open offense and that spread of Smyrna. I think Smyrna makes enough stops in this game on defense that could, but it could still be a high scoring game. But I think Smyrna gets just enough stops. I'm going with Smyrna. Yeah, I. I, I... <laughs> I love to watch these games. I bet that scoreboard's going to get lit up. Um, both teams have really good offenses. They they get in the end zone, um, but I think uh, I think like you said, that spread is going to be a difference maker for Smyrna. And that game will be on three two sports. Glenn Frazier will have the call on that. And our Friday night kickoff, our uh, downstate game of the week is the Capstone Home presents the rivalry. The uh, Cape and Lippin Vikings traveling west to take on the Sussex Central Golden Knights. A little border rivalry here. There's the two schools. Uh, the two districts border side by side. It's a seven o'clock kickoff in Sussex Central. The defending state champ, Sussex Central, finds themselves, Trey, three and three this season after suffering losses to Slazianum, Smyrna, and Dover. And it's been win loss, win loss, win loss. Today. It's been up and down all year. Um, but those losses are all the top five ranked teams. Uh, Cape and Lopen at one and five has been in every one of those games a bounce here, a break there, their way. They could be four, two, five. They could be six and zero oh right now. Um, the Vikings had the momentum coming off of their first big win of the season against Caesar Roddy. And the reason I, I say they had the momentum is Trey. They got that win with the defense on the field, goal line stand, uh, and they, and they come out of it and they get their first win. That could spell danger for the Golden Knights. But I expect Central will be ready in front of their home crowd. I don't have to say it, but I'm gonna. You don't pick against uh, Central in the castle. I'm going Sussex Central on Friday night. Yeah, I would say first in this rivalry, throw the records out the window. Um, it's going to be a good football game. When we, Cape's a good football team that just has had a string of values, haven't, haven't won the games. All right? right, They're still a good football team. Central's a good football team that's lost some big games. Um, they're going to have a great game. Uh, but the, my golden rule that you keep saying every week, uh, don't right. pick against Central in the castle, that's going to be South Central in my, in my opinion. Well, you know, we had the two teams on the show. We had both coaches. Coach John Wells talked about how with the new AAA, they lost their rivalry with Indian River. They lost their rivalry with Sussex Tech. Cape lost their rivalry with Sussex Tech. And maybe it's time to make this game a rivalry. It is going to be the capstone home rivalry, and he would like to see that. But J.D. Maul had, a, had another look at it. He said it ain't a rivalry till you win one. And Sussex Central is 18 and 2 over the last 20 years. And he said their goal is to walk off that field victorious and make this a robbery. So hey, I, I like it. You know, both coaches, you know, they, they want to turn this game to a robbery. Back when I played, um, it was a robbery. It was week 10. And uh, yeah. might be seeing it come back. And uh, I think these teams are more even than people realize. Hey, I'm here for it. If they want to make it a robbery, I love to watch it every year. Let's go. All right. So those are your picks, folks. Benny Mitchell, Trey Mitchell, Delaware Live Sports. Kick off 7 o'clock. I'll have the game uh, with the uh, Cape and Vikings and the Sussex Central Golden Knights, folks. We'll see you kickoff.